Good morning, good afternoon, good evening YouTubers, this is Jerry Diamond with How to Get Out of Babylon and it is... Are you kidding me? Okay, who's been messing with the clock? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just going to post this because I want to get it out there as soon as possible so everybody can... You know, get the message. All right, figure out what I'm doing. Um, so you know, you know what's going on. I it's after mid. It's after meth, 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 midnight. Bad Jerry, bad Jerry. All right. Well, the deal was, I talked to Jersey yesterday or the day before, and I said that I was planning on going to do a little bit of grocery shopping. You know, I have a van, she doesn't drive, blah, blah, blah. And she's not been feeling well, so I said, I'm going to go on Friday. Well, she could have told me that tomorrow was Friday. Uh, we're both, you know, we're, we both are kind of on, what do you call it, Indian time, you know, <laughs> like, I do whatever I need to do whenever I feel like doing it. Uh, but I've been trying to get some more organized organization into my life. So anyway, long story short, about I got done all those videos last night, this morning, no, yesterday morning now, since it's after midnight. Um, and, you know, I've been trying to get organized. Well, you know, after I did all those videos and about four o'clock in the morning i realized oh today is friday i thought you know so anyway thus my mm, blank brainedness <laughs> so, anyway so i got a nap i went ahead and went see i got up way earlier than i wanted to went ahead and did everything because it was a time time frame time constraint and so i got it all done Pushed, came home, texted a subscriber, Caddy Wumpus McDougal, how are you out there? Out. So anyway, I did that, and then I just, I, I got a nap, so I did. So I napped, I just got up, did some things. Uh, so now it's after midnight, so, all right. So it's Sabbath now, of course, as of dark, oh, dark 30, you know, evening to evening. Most people observe that. Some people go noon to noon, but, you know, I'm not going to get into that. So, what I've been wanting to do is to go ahead and, and have you, uh, somebody, last week I said somebody did get into this lunar call, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and give the info here. You can screenshot it. Um, the phone number is there, 712-432-9900. Participant passcode four zero seven 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 zero. I love it. Pound. I mean, don't ever have to look that one up. Uh, T-Mobile users, if you're T-Mobile, there's numbers there. I don't know anybody that does that. There's a call-in number for Canada. Now, what I'm going to say is that between now and one p.m. Central Time, that's they. I, I like the time they do it because it's three fifteen Eastern, two fifteen Central. 115 Mountain, 1215 Pacific. So it's with that big of a spread, and there are people that call from virtually every time zone. I'm not sure how often or how, how many people from the Eastern. There were for quite a while regular people from all four time zones. So, so that's good. It spreads it out. You know, you don't have to get up too early. You don't have to stay up too late. Blah blah blah. So, okay. So that being said, the number for playback is. I hope it's on here. I think it is. I know it if it wasn't. Yeah. Uh, to listen to the recording after the call, 712-432-9901. Same passcode, 40770, pound. Uh, the call selection is zero and then pound. In other words, to listen to the last call is zero pound. It's like that way with virtually all of these systems. Um, now the... One thing I wanted to mention is there's quite a long introduction, and since it's not a live call, 
I don't know if it does it on the recording. If it does, I just hit the two closest numbers, which is after I've hit zero and pound, I just hit eight eight. You can hit nine nine, two two one one, whatever. Just any two numbers doesn't have to be, you know. And that that just shorts shorts out the uh, uh, the the playback recording. You know, this is the protocol and da da da. The first time you might want to listen to it, but you can fast forward with six, rewind with four, pause five, and you can listen to the whole call. If you're something part of it you're not interested in, just six 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 until you pick up and what whatever you want to do. Now it was a long call. It was uh, I'm thinking three hours, right about three hours. Uh, this gal, sister Ella Sheba, read. Uh, from a really good book by Robert Balakias. He's a, uh, what I would call a, a, and I think he would too, Christian identity. You know, he understands the difference between Jews and Israel, uh, Hebrews and Israel, Israel, Hebrews and Jews. And But a really good book on um, the war between the children of light and the powers of darkness. Good book. So, and then we read Torah. So, now, at the bottom of this, and if anybody wants, I will email this to you, and I'll try to get it out to people that I know that I can remember. I don't have a email list for y'all, you know, with everybody's name on it, so I, I can. I've got hundreds of people on my email list, and it's just a matter of going through and trying to remember. But anyway, if anybody wants to me to send it, I will. Uh, there's a bunch of. Uh, uh, I didn't mean to do that. Um, oh, that's what I wanted though. Triennial. This is what they're using. Uh, cool, I didn't know how to look that up. Because it says the original timepiece, but and it doesn't say triennial in the short part of it. This is the uh, Torah portions that we're reading. So um, I was going to look it up for uh, today and read tonight. I'll do that in a little while. So And there's a little bit of, of information here about it, and I'll probably read that um in fact, I might as well just do it now as a the original timepiece ancient ancient triennial torah portions we of the original timepiece understand that about 2000 years ago our most highest custom was to gather with others for worship in the synagogue on the sabbath days luke 4:16 it is a little known fact that the ancients during his time marked time with the lights in the heavens which upheld a lunar slash solar year and a lunar month that included four Sabbaths within the month. They reset the six work days and seventh day Sabbath cycle after each new moon day. The Sabbath in history, taking up the Sabbath challenge, the original timepiece and the Sabbath day and other writings are available regarding the original timepiece and the ancients' understanding of our Creator's appointed time shown by the lights in the heavens shown to us by the lights in the heavens, I would say that's probably, yeah. Genesis 114, 16, Psalm 104, 19. Apparently, the ancients during our Messiah's time read the scriptures according to a triennial Torah portion that included passages from the prophets. It was different than the commonly used triennial Torah schedules today. With it, we can track, trace, back the references he quotes from the prophets and have a better idea of their related Torah portions and the lessons his hearers may have pondered. We have adapted the Torah reading schedule of Jesus, an ancient triennial Torah reading schedule, to the lunar month cycle of the original timepiece. We plan to use this schedule on our Shabbat Shalom fellowship calls. <clears throat> Although all use the same Torah, there is not a cohesive Sabbath Torah reading schedule used in Jewish, Messianic, and Hebrew roots groups today. Some use a one-year cycle, others a three-year cycle. Most use the common calendar schedules with 52 weeks in each year. There are variations within each organization as to the preferred cycle and readings during the cycle. We of the original timepiece and Shabbat Shalom Fellowship have been using variations of a one-year Torah reading cycle. We heard that during our Messiah's time, the synagogues used a three-year cycle. We searched the internet and could, and found the Torah reading schedule 
of Jesus, an ancient triennial Torah reading schedule. <coughs> the Biblical Heritage Center has made it available on the Internet and requests that it be shared with others, especially our Bible study group. They indicate that their Torah reading schedule, which we are adapting, is the oldest one they have been able to locate. It contains a number of refer differences in the readings from the prophets, as well as in the length of the cycle. They state that it is much closer to the schedule that Messiah used. We desire to seek our Father's heart together and ponder His calling on our lives. We desire to learn how to worship Him in spirit and in truth. We believe that our Messiah revealed His heart and invited us to call Him Abba and share what His Spirit reveals. Then they that feared Yahweh spake often one to another, and Yahweh hearkened and heard, and a book of remembrance was written before Him for them that feared Yahweh and thought upon His name. And they shall be mine, saith Yahweh of hosts, in that day when I make up my jewels. And I will spare them, as a man spareth his own son that serveth him. Then ye shall return and discern between the righteous and the wicked, between him that serveth Elohim and him that serveth him not. Malachi 3, 16 through 18. So, um... So if anyone is interested, I will send this to you. And it is, um, that's the bottom of it, so. The, uh, there's a booklet in here. There's a year at a glance, which is a, kind of a year annual calendar. I think that's, I think I'm clicking on the right one. Maybe not. <laughs> it's taking a long time. All right, I'll skip that one. Um, let's try this one. And it might be the tablet is tired, hot. Okay, Th this here, um, I think that was the fourth one. Uh, the Sabbath day, 25 pages, super little booklet. I will, I'm sure I'll, I will read that, and that I can do that in one. I don't know. 25 pages. It might be. Uh, five or six readings. Uh, I read it at a Tabernacles one time, and it's really a well-written book, and it's a real basic uh, approach to introduction to the uh, idea of a lunar system. And again, I'm not wanting to argue, you know, cajole or discuss, I mean, you know, discussion's fine, questions and stuff, I don't mind. But, uh, this is an article, an uh, 11 page article, The Sabbath in History. And, you know, it talks about uh, from Josephus' time, Saturn's day, where Saturn, Saturnalia day, Saturday. Uh, I hate to even say it, but, you know, don't say we worship on Saturday's Sabbath, you know, because that's, you're breaking Torah. So. Um, and then there's a, a book in here. One of one of these is a book, and it's like, all right, that's the one I just did. Sorry, right, I missed that one. This is month five. It looks like it's a, just should be a, yeah, okay. This will be this month's calendar. So I'm assuming month five, yeah. July, August, and so th this give you an idea of how, at least it shows you, if nothing else, the consistency of the moon phases, okay? Um, and this is all, again, all, it's always approximate, not, not exactly dead on. Like here you see on uh, day five, so if day seven is Sabbath, then see day one would be like theoretically sun, S-U-N day. M day, two, T day, W day, TH day, F day, <laughs> and an S day. So, S A day, S U day, and S A day. So, Sabbath, S A day, Sabbath. Just call it Sabbath, okay? So, but you'd see the the phase of the moon. The six was a quarter, fourteenth full moon. Always on the fifteenth is a Sabbath. Twenty uh, first. 
Now they have it going the the quarter hitting on the 22nd, which is you know Sabbath, and then the 29th last sliver. So that and it's very difficult. This this month, um, as I said, it was a, a difficult one to call. You can read this, and like I said, calendar is not my forte. I'm just you know trying to be faithful to do what I understand as best I understand it, and I'm not. There's a gal on here, on there, uh, Wanda, Sister Wanda. I mean, she can talk. If, if I'm serious, I, I, I would think if you gave her 12 hours, she could keep, you know, can, talking about the lunar calendar for 12 hours solid. <laughs> she knows it inside and out. Oh my gosh! All right, so somewhere on here there should be a book. It's about 300 pages, and it 495 kilobyte. 320, 549, 1.2 megabyte. That should be the book, I would imagine. The original timepiece. No? But I, I'm thinking maybe the book's not in here right now. Okay, that must be what it is. Because it would be, it's 300 pages. Yeah, so it's just not in here right now. But they'll send it. And there's plenty of information here for anyone that's even halfway interested uh, of doing any study of, you know, spending plenty of time here. The 25-page book, if you can just read through that, it would give you at least, for your perspective, whether you want to believe it or not, it would give you an understanding of where, and we should, you know, we should be able to give an answer for the hope that lies within us and, you know, be able to rightly divide the word of truth and whatnot. So um, at least we give you an introduction to the idea, concept of, of a lunar system. So, all right. So I would say for tomorrow again, I'm gonna just gonna ask that uh, everyone go ahead and you know if you would, if you want to, if you don't have anything other, if you don't have any other Sabbath gathering, a lot of people are just out in the middle of nowhere. They're by themselves, especially if you're not uh, uh, in a city. Um, you know, I'm out in the middle of nowhere basically. Got to get in the van and go somewhere to go somewhere. You know, you, you know, get in the van to, to go to a meeting, and I don't know of any meeting that I really am thrilled about going to. So I usually, you know, call in and as much as I can listen in. So I'm going to do that tomorrow. Uh, so if you are on the East Coast, and I know some of you are, it would be 3:15 p.m. Eastern Time. Central time, it's nice. Although last week I woke up at 2. It was a bad night. It was not my fault. I mean, there was some ruckus going on with animals and stuff. So I didn't get a good night's sleep at all. But 2 o'clock I woke up, I'm like, oh, man. you know. So I got in, I called in, and there was one of, the, one of my subscribers was on, Kelly. Uh, and 1.15 Mountain Time, and then 12.15 if you're on the West Coast, Pacific Time. So there you go. Uh, 417, not 417, yeah, that's my number, 417-988-0333. Uh, if you want to text me, you know, questions and things or, or direction, or if you have ideas, if you, you know, tell me you're praying for me, uh, that means a lot, it really does. If someone says, yeah, I care about you, I love you, um, and lo some of you are doing that on a regular basis, that really helps. Uh, I, I just, I'm at a point where, um, uh, you know, John, uh, Porcupine Ranch, uh, you know, said that, you, you know, I, I feel like you're in uh, uh, a re renewal or, you know, new phase, and that's very true. I'm doing a lot of rethinking. I, I want to just focus on the Word, focus on uh, prayer, and, you know, the last time I just totally gave up. I mean, I quit. I, I Something happened. It was just intense. It was uh, trying to help somebody, and it just went... Uh, it went south, <laughs> you know, single mom, blah, 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 blah. And then it just, people didn't, didn't get behind it. And it just, it happened, whatever happened, happened. And I just went, I quit. I quit. I, I just, I gave up. And like the next day, a van, you know, 10 o'clock at night, lights in the driveway. We need to ride home. We need to ride home for you. Just got here. You know, what'd you come over for? To give you this van, you know. It's for the Ozark, Ozark Plateau Ministry. So when I when I gave up, I got a free van. So that was pretty awesome. So anyway, 
you know, blessings. A lot of uh, I'm going to be reading my book, uh, and I've gotten some advice from John on how to do that. And hey, John, I just say, you know, I'm I'm just, you know, I said one time, and I've said this before. I'll, this is be part of the story. The story I'm not going to even tell it right now. But I was on the phone with one little guy one time, and I said, you know, if someone would come along that was better qualified, you know, and everything, I would just love to just take the burden I've got and give it to them. They can they can carry the burden, and I'll do whatever they tell them to do. Man, I will be the wind beneath their wings. I'll be their aide de camp, whatever you know, their servant, uh, whatever. Just take the burden. It's killing me. And this was a long time ago. <laughs> And the guy said, uh-uh, you can't do that. <laughs> I said, he said, Moses tried to do that. Just, God gave you a job to do, do it, you know. And, and the guy, I didn't even know who the guy was I was talking to. And he says, I, I consider you an authority over me. And I thought I was talking to a different guy. It's a long story. It's a bunny trail. It's a long bunny trail. So that's what I say. The thousand bunny trail story is about to begin. So, uh, yeah, but advice on that and whatnot, uh, have at it, and I'll probably intersperse uh, reading my book with, you know, reading something else too, you know, and it'll, it won't be a daily thing unless I get a book that I can read it every day, and I might do that. Had heard from some of the people I've been putting to sleep for so long with lights out, you know, contrary man, if you're still out there, give me a holler. I apologize, I haven't I haven't heard anything from him, from you, bro. So give me a holler. All right, that's it. Um, the call-in number is, I'm going to go over that once more, 712. It's about right in the center of your screen right there. Right in, right in there. 712-432-9901. Until tomorrow, when they start recording this one, you can listen to that. Last week's call, I, I, it was good. It was good. Um Covered a lot of good material. The the book, like I said, passcodes four zero seven seven zero pound. Beep. Okay. So and then your selection is zero pound. Uh, to do anything, to listen to any other ones, you got to pick a number, you know. And I don't know if they're at ninety seven, one hundred and twenty seven, or whatever. And El Shiba just doesn't have the. Uh, internet connection capability to go in, dig in, and find it. So There have been some good calls, but I couldn't tell you a number from know-how because it just is not available. So until tomorrow, you can listen to that one, and then we will deal with the um, uh, after a couple, three more weeks go by, then I'll decide whether I'm going to do my deal or not. Uh, Every, every week, they give a moon watcher's report, and that gives you an idea of watching the moon. If you, if you just subscribe, uh, let Ella Shiva know that you want to get this. She can send it to you, and um, it'll be, uh, you, you'll have this, and it'll, it'll, at least in your mind, you can kind of say, oh, okay. Because like right now, you go outside, it's a full moon, you know, whether that matches exactly, you know, there, but that means that you see the full moon, the quarter moon, or whatever, that night before, then the next day is Sabbath. So, uh, And I've been look, observing that for a long, long time now. I was going to say, what was I going to say? Uh, recording playback. Okay. I'm going to buzz off on this one and apologize for the, just, I just wanted to get this out there, boom, and get it to you. So, one thing I love is this. Psalm 19, day into day utter the speech, and night into night shows forth knowledge. Wow. You know, uh, it's just, I, I love it, you know. Two witnesses, two or three witnesses, uh, why would Yahweh not use that principle, not just in, within pe with people, but with his creation? You have two and three witnesses with the moon of different phases and different, how, the angle and, you know, it's like a clock. Really coming in, dovetailing well with the flat earth stuff. There, There's a guy, he's a, Shagwar Bhagti. I think he's probably Hindu. Fabulous video. I don't know if it's still out there, but it was a fabulous video. And toward the end of the video, it said, it's like this is an original timepiece. It's like a big giant clock in the sky. And it's like the almost the exact same words as the title of their book. 
God's original timepiece. It's like this is the Creator's original timepiece. You know, so very amazing. Um, things are coming to the fore. Always remember Psalm 19. The heavens declare the glory of Elohim, and the firmament displays. It shows forth. It 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 it, it the firmament, Rakia, shows his craftsmanship, his handiwork. And it is, and it's speaking loudly now. So it is. It's. I, I believe it's going to somehow. I just have the sense of because it, it's there is sound involved. Believe me, you. There's frequency involved. So we'll go into that in another. You know, another deal. But uh, you know, when my friend get John gets um, free on cans, mechanic, right? So when the free on cans are empty, they're great targets. They're not good. They can't refill them. They're they're, they're they. You throw them away. They're not explosive. Well, then you hang them up and you shoot at them. Well, his daughter hit one with a 223 right on the edge, and it went in, and, and you could hear the bullet in there going, <laughs> about 100 times. Pretty cool. Well, look up Schumann Resonance. Schumann Resonance. It's the heartbeat of the earth. And I always, it, made, it never made a lick of sense to me because the Schumann resonance, the 7.83 beats per second of the Earth's heartbeat, is caused by lightning strikes. When a lightning bolt strikes, in seven point no, <laughs> seven point eight three times a second, the energy goes around the Earth. And I thought, there's this big ball in the nothingness of space with this atmosphere, and this is, you know, I believed in the, I believe what I've been told. I was a good little robot. I was a good little mindless Autobot, right? Okay, so picture this, though. There's this big blob of stuff spinning a thousand miles an hour, okay? So in 24 hours, it goes around in one circle. But you got this atmosphere stuck to it with magic Velcro, and... Outside of that is vacuum. There's nothing out there. So my question was, I, I, my business was frequency, tuning element. Look it up. My, something's still out there with it. My partner stole all my technology, my research, you know, the name that I picked, the icon that I picked, you know, the research that I'd done that I'd given him. He partnered with me 50-50, not 50-50. He paid me. He considered me an employee. I considered him my employee. Anyway, <laughs> but point being is, you know, frequency. The whole business was built on Schumann resonance, the fact that the Earth pulses 7.83 times every second. And then there's different echelons of that, 15.2, 25.9, 33.7, 40... 8.9, whatever, you know, there, there's levels of Schumann resonances up to about 50. So 50 times a second, there's this energy going around the Earth. How does that happen on a globe? And I, I just, I'm just saying, that. it always, like the flood. How do you flood a globe? How did, how did that work? I mean, if you believe in the flood, how did that work? Because, all right, so anyway... My point is, is that, you know, the, the bullet hits that can and it goes, spins around about 100 times in a second. Seven, to, you know, at least seven times a second. So, anyway, pretty cool. Uh, explains a lot for me. Uh, Schumann resonance, energy, frequency is very critical. It's, it's what the human chest cavity pulses at, guess what, 7.83 hertz. It's 7.83 times per second. So, all right. Enough of that. Good night. Thank you. Yahweh bless. Uh, the Torah portion there, number two. Um, let me see if we could possibly. Calendar, was that? No. Nope. It was this one. Yeah, Torah portions. Uh, I'm going to pull it up and figure out the. We're in month five. Okay, there we are. Sabbath, first Sabbath, second Sabbath, and we are. 
second, one, two, third Sabbath, so, okay. I know what I read last week, and I don't see anything in there that, 12 months. Oh, ancient triennial portion. Okay, yeah. All right. Um, I don't know which end of the thing we're on, so, okay, I'm not going to... I'll tell you what, I'm going to minimize this. I'm going to pause this uh, three times, take a screenshot so you can read it and figure it out for yourself, or just pull it up online, but it might be hard to find. So I'm going to X out on my picture. I think you can still hear me. Okay, so... I'm going to pause it there for a while. And then I'm going to go to the second page. I'm doing screenshot, screenshotting, screen shooting, screenshotted. Okay, third one. Oh, this is four pages. Okay. Okay, and that's the part I read. And can I get that in one shot? Yes. without the title. Okay. There you go. So you can pause that, shoot it, and we'll see you later. Good night.